Cool. You're good to go. <sighs> Hello. So has anyone ever had to use any kind of tabular data? By a show of hands. OK, a couple people. Does anyone prefer to use the terminal? OK. And has anyone ever used grep, uh, cut, aux, sort, unique with a CSV file? OK, right, exactly. Well, I did that way too much, and I got kind of fed up with it. So I made a tool called Visidata, which I've been working on for the past year on my sabbatical. It's written in Python 3. It's open source. Uh, it's in PyPy now. We're working on it getting in Brew and Apt. It supports a whole lot of formats. Um, Excel files and CSV files and JSON. It's extensible via Python 3. And this is kind of like a Swiss Army chainsaw for data. Um, and this is a lightning demo. So I have a data set of all, or of uh, two months of 311 service complaints from New York. And so it's loading it now. You can see it's loading it asynchronously down there in the corner. Um, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. For instance, you can hide columns with a minus key. And um, if you wanted to, for instance, we have a created date. Let me split this based on, this has got a date and time. I just want to see the date. So I just split that. And I've got another column here for just the date. If I wanted to do a frequency analysis on that date, for instance, I would just press Shift F, and here we go. And it tallies it asynchronously. And then if I hide these columns, we can actually make this guy a little bigger here. And you can see the stuff. If we sort by the date, then you can see basic patterns with this simple histogram, right? And so for some reason, there's a a cycle of like seven <laughs> days. I don't know. Let's see here. So if I if I type uh, this date column as a date, I'm going to rename it to uh, create date, and then I can use that as an expression or in, in an expression to make another column. And so let's say I just wanted to get the, the weekday. This is just Python here, and so you can see the weekday. And this, that was just a date time. We just converted to a weekday there, and so you can see. Okay, right. It's day five and six, which happens to be Saturday and Sunday. That makes sense. So um, if I quit out of this then, and I want to do some simple visualizations of this, let's say, um, there's a bunch of different fields in here, like the latitude and longitude. So um, let me make these just floats here, because it turns out that latitude and longitude, even though they're on a sphere, you can kind of think of them as x, y coordinates. So I'm going to make the longitude be an x coordinate. And actually, let me go get the burrow here. I'll make that be a key column so you can get a little bit of color. And I'm just going to plot that with dot. This is all in the terminal still, by the way. And so I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen a map of New York. Wow. These are the complaints. Thank you. If we wanted to see all the things we had done to get to this point, we could press Shift D to get to a command log. And this is all the things that we did in order. If we wanted to, I could actually save this off and uh, replay it later. That took 20 seconds earlier, so I'm not going to waste that time right now. Um, but if we wanted to do some more fun stuff with this, let's say this is a simple map of the, just the complaints. Let's do some more things here. I'm going to take the burrow out of there. And oh, here we go, complaint type. So I'll do a frequency analysis on that. And after that's done here, let's find something interesting. Oh, it's rodents. That's always fun. <laughs> so I pressed Enter just to go to all the rodent complaint types. And then let's see the, whether rat sightings or mouse sightings or whatever, the exact same plot here, and so here's the map of those. And if I want to, I can turn those layers on and off with the numbers here, so you can see only the mouse sightings, or only the rat sightings, et cetera. Bounce back and forth between them if you want to, et cetera. Um, and just because I think it's fun, you can use the mouse to zoom in, for instance, on Manhattan, and then you can select a region and just press Enter to go to just those rows for that. And then, thank you. And then you can save those off as a CSV file. And that's the uh, very simple workflow with Visidata. Um, like I said, it's extensible with Python. You can do all kinds of expressions. You can create a, um, uh, a Visidata RC with a custom functions in there. I have a gender function in there. So anybody's first name, I can just make a column with their supposed gender based on their first name. Um, it's just a great tool if you're ever doing data and just want to do something really quickly before you even know what's even in there. So we're working on uh, releasing uh, 1.0, actually right after this conference, uh, next week. And um, so if you're interested in this and using this, I would love to give you uh, either a more hands-on demo or show how you could help you. So please hit me up after the, after the lightning talks. Anyway, thank you very much. Woo!